All right, so welcome back. Another Thursday pro tip video, part of our summer series. Today we're gonna to talk about why you can't necessarily transfer the scratch golfer that shows up on the range to the golf course. And part of that is gonna be how we practice. You know, if we're out here just kind of hitting balls, you know, into the abyss without really a target, then the swing that we might be making on the golf course is probably not the swing that's gonna, or the swing that we're making on the range is probably not the swing that's gonna transfer out to the golf course. So one of the things that we're gonna talk about is really picking a target and kind of sticking to it while we're at the range. This doesn't mean that every single time we have to go through our pre-shot routine, but maybe like one in every five shots. There's a couple reasons why this is so important. If I set up to just the range, I know that I can make my swings just fine. Now say I want to pick my target and I want to pick the blue flag out in the distance, but I'm aimed way left of my target as some of us might be on the golf course, I'm gonna still make a swing to that blue flag, which is gonna end up for me pulling that ball a little bit to the right, but for most of you left or right-handed golfers, it's gonna be out to the left. So we're gonna kind of talk about two different things. Again, we're gonna pick a target while we're practicing on the range. This is gonna be severely important to not only grooming our swings, but also grooming our swings towards our target, which is gonna be great for the golf course, but also developing a pre-shot routine. There's a couple things that are just really, really important about a pre-shot routine. One, it's gonna get your head right for the shot that you're hitting. And then two, it's also gonna make sure that when we make swings, they're as consistent as possible from the first hole to the 18th hole, or maybe from our first ball in the range to like our 20th or 30th. So I'm gonna go over what I do in my pre-shot routine and kind of what my thought process is. The first thing I do is when I get, always get back behind the golf ball and I pick out an intermediate target. Um, from that movie American Sniper, aim small, miss small. If you aim for a button and you miss by a couple feet, you probably still hit your shot. Um, so that's what I try to do. I pick something very, very small on the ground, only a couple feet in front of my golf ball, and I aim the club to that and then aim my feet to the club. What this allows me to do is it takes away all the other guessing games. Maybe if I'm in a different lie or my foot is in a hole, I don't have to worry about that because I'm always addressing the club. So for here, like I said, we're gonna go to the blue flag. I'm gonna pick out maybe like a divot or a different colored piece of grass or maybe a tee. And when I move back into the golf ball, I'm gonna set my club in line with that target that I picked out about five, six feet in front of my golf ball. Now, I move my feet in perpendicular to my club now and take my stance. So I let the club decide where I stand. This allows me to have the best aim possible towards my target. The other thing I do when I'm back behind the golf ball is any of the other trouble, like say I'm at an 18 and I have that water in front of me. When I'm back behind my golf ball looking at for my intermediate target, I'm actually thinking about my shot in my head. I'm thinking, okay, where can I miss? Where can I not miss? What swing do I wanna make? For me, what do I want the ball to look like when it's up in the sky, shot shape, things like that. I take care of all of that behind the golf ball. A lot of us, when we finally get back over it, especially on 18, there's only one thought in our head it's don't hit it in the water. We need to take care of all those thoughts kind of back behind the golf ball. So then this way, once we get up and make our swings, the only thing we're thinking about are the few things that we might be thinking about, about our swing. A couple of the little nuances that we want to remember, the feels that we're trying to make. So like I said, I get back behind my golf ball, I pick my target, I think about my shot. For here, I'm gonna to go to the blue flag, pick out my intermediate target, and I wanna see that ball move just a little right to left. It should look like this. We do everything right. You should see that your swing on the range, that scratch golfer swing on the range, might carry out to a few more shots while you're out in the golf course. If you have any questions, send it to the golf shop email or send it to myself or any other, any other of the golf professionals and we'll make sure to answer it next week. If not, we'll see you right back here.